So I bought these cheap knockoff headphones online and I should have known better. Of course, there was something wrong with them. The volume bar is all the way next to the earbud for some reason. So it is right the way up here. Luckily, there is a magical fix for this. Watch that volume bar. All I have to do is just take hold of it and slide it down the cable just like this. Just sliding it into position about there will do. And the best thing is these are instantly examinable. No switch, nothing. I just hand these out and the spectator can check them. I mean, that really is on the wire. It doesn't slide or anything. It is wired in. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Welcome back to another tutorial video and today I'm going to teach you how to make the devilishly deceptive gimmick that is the moving volume bar on the headphones. This is a gimmick that ends completely examinable. Once you've done this trick, you literally hand the headphones to the spectator and they can check them all they like. There is no way that they can find the secret. Super visual, super practical, super easy. The only downside is that it means you will have to slightly destroy a pair of headphones, but please do use a cheap knockoff. And trust me, it is so worth it. Before I dive into explaining exactly how to make this gimmick, I want to talk a little bit about the art of creation. Now, this magic trick came about in a really unusual way. I was getting into the car a couple of weeks ago. I closed the door and I sort of heard a crunch that did not fill me with confidence. And I checked and I'd actually broken my headphones. It was these headphones. Obviously, I was a bit gutted, but they were just cheap. So I chucked them to one side. I thought, I'll deal with those later. I'll chuck them in the bin. Doesn't really matter. But when I looked at them later, I actually discovered a magical secret waiting to happen. If I hadn't have broken those headphones, I would never have discovered the magical secret I'm gonna teach you in this video. And so it kind of goes to show that secrets can come from anywhere. Ideas for magic can come from anywhere. People always ask me, how, how do you get your ideas? How do you come up with magic tricks? And there's no formula. There's no set of instructions on how to create a trick. So as well as this being a tutorial, I also want you to take away the fact that magic can come from anywhere. Be on the lookout in life for things that could be magic tricks. A broken pair of headphones, most people would just chuck them away, but a magician looks at it and sees the potential of a really visual and powerful trick. So without further ado, without blabbing on any longer, let's dive into exactly how to do the moving volume bar. First things first, you're going to want to use these sort of Apple style headphones. These aren't Apple headphones, but clearly they are intended to be Apple headphones. And the interesting thing is, especially about the cheap versions where things aren't really glued together, this top piece, this top cap, can actually come off. If you sort of twist it to one side, you'll notice this can twist around and come off. And inside, you have the little speaker. That is where the sound comes from. Now, this is not the one with the volume bar, so there's no point doing it to this one, but it goes to show what is inside. What you're going to do is remove that. You're going to cut the wire. You're going to remove all of the gadgets and gizmos inside this, and you should be left with this. This is the one with the volume bar. This is what I've done. Now, interestingly, the wire is already knotted on mine. You'll see there's a little knot, and this means that it stops the cable from coming through the bottom. You're going to take that wire and pull it all the way through so that the volume bar is now at the top. Now, version one of the trick, the first way that I ever did this trick, was I hid all this wire in my hand and to move the volume bar I simply slid it along. There's a more advanced method of the trick that allows the headphones to be examined. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But first, how do you move the volume bar? The mistake that I think is quite easy to make is literally just pulling like this, but that looks like exactly what it is. It looks like you're just pulling the wire out and you want it to feel like you're moving the volume bar, which is a different thing. Whenever you pretend to do something in magic, it is so important that you know what it feels like to actually do that thing. So think about what it would be like getting to method acting if you were to actually move this volume bar. You wouldn't just pull with both hands, you would anchor this one holding the headphone. This isn't important to the trick for them. You're just holding the headphones with this hand. And then you focus on this one and this is the one that does the moving. 
That is what's going to convince your audience that this is a moving volume bar trick rather than a elongating headphones trick. Obviously, the headphones do get longer. This is something that you can't worry about too much, especially when the headphones are dangling like so. This one is just going to be down here with the rest of the cable and there's no way that you can really judge how long this is compared to how long this is. It all just kind of gets lost into one thing. They're not going to notice the headphones get longer because you are telling them with your body language to focus on the volume bar. All of that is so important. I know a lot of people say, oh, Kevin, it's just a gimmick, it's just a magic trick, but no, the psychology is what sells this. So that is volume one right there. Volume one? Version one. So that's version one right there. You pull the wire through the headphone, you hide all of this in your hand, and you move the volume bar just like so. Obviously, this one can't be examined because <laughs> you're left with a big gaping headphone thing right there. This is where the second secret comes in, and that is the cap that you just removed. I don't know if this is called the cap. I'm gonna call it the cap. It's the other bit of the shell that completes the headphones. Unfortunately for me, when I trapped these in the car door, I had to use a cap from a different set of headphones, so I've just had to take that cap off and borrow it. Luckily, I've not had to break the other pair of headphones. So this is what you do. You take this right here, you take your other cap, and before we put the cap on, we're going to take the wire, just like so, and curl it up inside the earbud. You see, I'm just spiraling that cable all the way round, just like so. So I have a bundle of cable inside the earbud, and then I take the cap, here we go, and I place it on top, making sure that none of those wires spill out. Then we get the satisfying little click as it all goes into place, and boom, you have all of that wire concealed inside the earbud. I love this so much. So now you can even place this inside your ear, just like this, and you can explain that you bought the headphones online or whatever, you can say you got them from wish.com, and that obviously it came with something wrong with it, the volume bar is way too high up. And now you can be so free with this. There's nothing in your hands, nothing to conceal. You take that volume bar, and I always like to really sort of focus in on this moment as if you're really concentrating, this is really difficult, or whatever. You take this volume bar and you move it. Once I feel I can go no more, I let go and I instantly just give it to them. And that is a weird moment because this is one of those tricks that looks like you should know how it's done, right? Super simple method would be just having this able to slide, right? That would be the easy way of doing it. That's what your audience are going to assume is happening. What sells it is giving it to them and they can't work out how this has moved. They're going to focus on the volume bar, by the way. When you do this to people, they're not gonna worry about the earphone because to them, that's just another part of the, <laughs> the headphones. They're gonna focus on the volume bar. There is no way, there is no physical way of pushing this back in. You can't do that. And so by using the gimmick, you've actually locked the gimmick into place so that now it is just a completely ordinary set of headphones that are fully examinable. So there we go, that is the moving volume bar trick. I really hope you enjoyed learning this visual, spicy piece of magic. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. It really does help me out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Plenty more tutorials like this on the way, but we do anything and everything to do with magic. So if you like magic, hit the subscribe button. And just before you go, I wanna let you know about The Magician Club, which is my membership for magicians that starts at just $5 a month. Now, I would probably say that $5 is on the cheap side for a single trick or download in the magic industry. But you don't get a single trick or download. You get access to a constantly growing library, a warehouse of magic tutorials, lectures, masterclasses, products, and so much more. Over on the $5 tier right now, you can learn a hands-free Acon where the spectator shuffles, the spectator deals, and you just guide them through it, and somehow you're able to predict the card at the freely chosen number without touching the deck. And it is all $5 a month, literally just $5. You can go to themagician.club, you can sign up today, and if you want access to the full archive of more than 100 tutorials and masterclasses and lectures and products, then that is only $15 on the queen tier. Go and check it all out, that is The Magician Club, that has been this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.